So I'm going to show you a scheme around this lovely Rock Bird Velvet by GP and J Baker from their Signature Velvets collection. I'm going to start with the walls, which I've chosen this um, wallpaper by Zoffany. It's called Will Woodville Plain. It's got a slight strier effect. It's just a little bit more interesting than um, a flat paint. Um, and I do like to have wallpaper uh, in, a, in a sitting room drawing room. For the curtains, I've chosen this Elitis Gypsy fabric. It's a lovely heavyweight linen. Um, it, as you can see, comes in a huge array of colours, but this is a really, really pretty, uh, sort of petrally blue. You could then add a neutral um, contrast uh, leading edge, which would look very smart. I would put those on a lovely, heavy, uh, thick mahogany poles, I think would look really, really smart um, uh, at the windows. For the rock bird, I would love to see that on a three-seater large sofa, something like our Maplehurst would look really, really stunning. And then I've chosen um, uh, three other fabrics for either sofas or chairs. So we've got this lovely Fomoy figured linen. We've got the Ellswick by Zoffany, which has got a lovely, lovely texture to it. And then this uh, rather fun uh, paisley design by Ian Sanderson called Zarina. I always love to see a footstool uh, in a grouping um, and I have chosen this mulberry fabric. Uh, it's called Faded Damask. Uh, it picks up all the lovely blues and greens and uh, I think it would look very smart in the centre. And it adds a slightly more modern touch to it too. And then lastly, you want to add some cushions. So I think I bring in some uh, of the fabric of the uh, curtains. And then again, another mulberry fabric, which is called Fantasia, and that picks up all the same color group uh, as the rock bird. So there you have it. I think a very smart sitting room.